Guess who's back? Back again. Jamie's back. And he's overexposed! <laughs> How is it going, everybody? I'm back. Liverpool are set to take on a Brighton tomorrow at uh, just after lunchtime, two o'clock before the Manchester City Arsenal game, which is, of course, a spicy one. But let's get into the Liverpool game and see how we think this game's going to go. Because I'm telling you now, this is not an easy game at all. So let's get right into this. This is why, the number one reason, that it's not going to be an easy game for Liverpool going into it. We have had only 1.2 on average in the last five games, which basically means it could be a draw. Um, we've drawn with them three times, lost to them once and beat them once, basically. Not the best record. A bit of a bogey team, you could even say, for Jurgen Klopp. He's never really hit the right stride against Brighton. De Zerbi maybe has just got the right tactics to beat Klopp, um, which we won't have to worry about next season, of course. But this season, it could be a big worry because we're on that title charge. Um, as you can see as well, we haven't actually beaten Brighton since March of 2022. Good news is we're playing them in March again. So if you're superstitious like that, happy days. Um, but, you know, last season, there's been some Trossard results, you know, and, and some impact from him. Uh, earlier this season, not so bad. Um, to all, not the best. But let's hope that we've learned from our mistakes over the last five games or four games because we did win one of them and uh, we can turn it around and uh, hopefully it'll be a lovely sunny day at Anfield and... And we'll get the win and then we'll go watch Man City either draw or beat Arsenal later. That would be the dream, wouldn't it? Just in case you did not know going into this game, here are the injured, suspended and uh, returning players as well. So let's start on a positive. Returning players. Ibrahim Akanate coming back uh, from that little niggle we picked up a few months ago. Well, not a few months ago, but a few games ago. Um, so it's good to have him back. Solid at the back. We love Canate. Curtis Jones obviously done his knee and I think it was against Brentford. Um, brilliant to see him back. That was a painful injury and it could have been a lot worse. I'm glad he's back. Good depth and strength in the middle of the pitch. And Darwin Nunes, I know he technically didn't miss a game um, as much as he went missing at the end of the United game because of his tired legs. Um, is also back. Um, he obviously didn't go on international duty because of the injury. Um, the injury. And um, yeah, he's back. Doubt Andy Robertson. Now it looked a lot worse when he came off again for Scotland and we were all fearing after missing him for half a season already or whatever, how long it's been. But thankfully, it's not so bad that he might be back sooner. And a confirmed out, I mean, Thiago Bicetic and Matip. Uh, Thiago and Bicetic, will they ever play for Liverpool again? Don't know. Hopefully Bicetic, of course. Uh, but Thiago, I'm not sure. And Joel Matip falls under the same bracket of Thiago with that terrible ACL injury he got earlier in the season. Alisson, Trent, and Jota all getting closer to coming back, but not quite there yet. So with all them injuries and doubtful players, it isn't too bad. There was no suspension, just so you know. Um, we have got this potential lineup. Comahin Kelleher in goal, of course. Allison not available. Um, Connor Bradley, Van Dyke, Canate, and Joe Gomez across the back line. I mean, Connor Bradley. Or Trent Alexander-Arnold, right? One of them should always be starting for Liverpool, I think. Um, they are just so far clear. Uh, Canate and Van Dijk is our best centre-back pairing. I love Kwanzaa. I think he's a brilliant player for the future. But I would still go with Canate in my, like, you know, gun to my head. I'm going for Canate. And then left-back, uh, Robertson, as I said, is a doubt. So we've got to go safe. Joe Gomez, he's done a good job there. Better than Simicas, probably. Um, so definitely Joe Gomez. Moving on to the middle, we've got Wataru Endo in that holding spot. What a diamond in the rough he turned out to be. What a brilliant signing. And the other two people supporting him, of course, have got to be McAllister and Tabors. Like I say have got to be. These three players are our best three, in my opinion. However, I would not mind if Curtis Jones dropped in or Harvey Elliott dropped in. Um, I do think they bring a nice bit of balance, a bit of change. I think Elliot is brilliant off the bench, so I like having that as a midfielder. I don't think he's a great uh, winger, to be honest. Um, I don't think he's quite got the speed. It's not his game. He's a midfield player, and he is brilliant at it. Um, but yeah, they're the starting three I would pick if they're all fit. They just need a few more times to play together because they haven't played that much uh, to gel and really get into their stride. And in the front three, I mean, Cody Gakpo, I love you, Gakpo. 
and I pray that you get better and better at, you know, then this current rut that you're in, because it's like it's in his head, it's in everything. It, it's just slow and it's painful. And hopefully he does get better. But for the meantime, I'm going to have to say, with Jota out injured, it's this front three every day of the week. Luis Diaz on the left, Mo Salah on the right, and Darwin Nunes down the middle. I mean, Salah and Nunes are almost guaranteed right. So if Jota comes back, does it go Diaz, Jota, and um, Gakpo all fighting for that left wing? Maybe. I'm not sure. We don't know how long Salah's got left. We don't know when Jota will be back, hopefully soon. Um, but yeah, that is the lineup that I would go for. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for, for watching this little match preview. Hopefully it's giving you some insight into, into how the game's going to go. It's not going to be a walk in the park, like I said. But hopefully we can get a bit of form, get going, get kicking, and, and really do well. Um, and if we get a win... Pressure's on Arsenal, really is. Um, and hopefully Man City can pull off a draw or a win at the Etihad. Either way, Arsenal dropping points is what we need right now. As long as they drop points, we're golden. We just need to win every game. Simple. Um, but yeah, if you're new, make sure you drop a like and press that subscribe button uh, down below. Um, because, you know, I'm back. Three videos in one week. We'll probably get a fourth if the match goes... Um, if I if I if I'm not heartbroken if the match is a bad result, we'll see. Um, but yeah, like I say, if you're new, make sure you drop a like, drop a follow, and I'll see you in another one. Peace.